guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Samantha B and if you are subscribed to the channel thank you very much and if you are not subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button now and like my videos and if you have anything to say please comment down below if you want to highlight me you want to let me know that you are please comment down below yes uh, thank you so much for tuning in and as the title of the video says I will be talking about burnt out burn out yes which falls under mental health issue but before we begin, let's just look at my crown, y'all. Oh, natural. I'm loving it. Oh, okay. Let's talk about burnout. Um, just a formal description of what burnout is. I went on Google and I typed burnt out, and this is what popped. Right, right. Burnout is um a form of exhaustion which is caused by feeling swamped and that is due to like prolonged stress uh physical stress emotional stress mental um stress yes so i think there's a broad uh, spectrum of types of um i mean burnout so i'm just gonna be focusing on me and what my experience has been with burnout and just a disclaimer, I am not a professional or not person who has to diagnose people, but I'm just going to be basically talking about my experience and yeah, for the purpose of educating and entertaining other people. Yes. So, um, as I was saying, burnout is a form of being exhausted, um, which is caused by feeling swamped uh, due to prolonged mental, emotional and physical stress um it's just the feeling of being overwhelmed and you feel like you can't keep up with everything that's happening or think things that you have to do yes and you feel like you are drained um emotionally basically i think yes i'm just going to share a link um that uh i think it's an article that speaks about the symptoms and whatnot but i'm just going to talk about the first um symptom they mentioned a drive to succeed you know when you obsess over starting and finishing things and doing them right i think for me that has been the source of my burnout like i wanted to do things right like from a young age i remember with my journey with burnout i call it a journey yes it started in i think grade 12 or 11 you know when they say um the results that you get from studying in grade 11 are the ones that you're going to use to start to go to varsity and and and, and that sort of sort of stuff so for me that's when i started to work my ass off like i was i started and i went to grade 12 i also did the same thing and i think i was doing like so well in grade 12 that the teachers would like encourage me to do more you know so that actually like i was pushing myself it meant like i would i had to study more i had to like prove a point i don't know the pressure so not to blame other people and whatnot i was like so obsessed to get things done and done right and then to varsity straight from grade 12 i went to varsity and then from varsity i went straight to work and then now things changed for me now you know when you know when you are like at school you get like holidays i think for in the year four times a year you get like in december in june september and march and then now you start to work you find out especially for me i come from a home whereby everything necessary to like live is there but now when you work there's still a lot for you to do yes so i had to like work and now I realize, like in the working world, especially in my industry or where I worked, let me say, um, we'd only get like three weeks off. Like the whole year you'd go to work. Of course, the weekend's off. Monday to Friday you go to work and maybe some overtime there and there. And then you only get like three weeks, 12 months. In 12 months you get like three weeks of work, like of not waking up and going to work. Of course, there'll be like your annual leave and your your sick leave and your weekends, as I mentioned. But compared to um, the four holidays that you would get when you were like studying and whatnot, it was like just a lot. So I, I felt like I didn't have like breaks and whatnot. So yeah, 
um being the person that i was i like had projects like to do this for my family for myself and whatnot and i have to mention that i was staying at home so most of the other like domestic whatnot things were taken care of by my, my family they would like like the cooking and the washing of the dishes and their clothes and whatnot all the things that are done at home they were taken care of of taken care of by my family then i moved out i decided now okay fine i think i've done what i had to do and now it was like focus on my growth and whatnot fine i moved out of my home and just rent out a space whereby i could like grow further like buy stuff for yourself and whatnot yeah, yeah, yeah. that's when i started like now things started to hit me like okay fine now i have to do everything for myself i have to like wash my own blankets dishes cook clean everything fine and then now i was like a person who enjoyed like the privacy like a, being in my own room and not watching tv I, I'd, I'd be fine with those things but now when i was staying alone and i was like doing basically that i just didn't own, enjoy it. it started to depress me even like the walls they started to feel like i don't know so to ease that and whatnot i would like have a social life and go out with friends and which was good yes and just to to remind you now i was like basically feeling now um like i have to do everything like if, if i don't do anything nothing will be done so i started now to drag doing the other things that i had to do for my family things that i was not asked to do things that i decided you know what this needs to be done let me do it i'm like i felt like if i didn't do it no one will so now i started to feel like <sighs> it was taking like energy out of me to like do those things um yes but still i was like that person who kind of pushed to do um stuff i needed to do it didn't affect me in any way like i wasn't like in a space where but i felt i couldn't breathe but i was just dragging to do things i was still doing them like i remember one thing like to to get money for my mom i would like i didn't mind to go I draw up some money and then give it to her like but now i had to drive it to get off the bed drive go to atm stand in the queue and then go to yeah so it's, i started to like not enjoy that anymore and to remind you no one asked me to do that fine um just to give you an example of some of the stuff i needed to do for my own family and maybe sometimes people will be like they want to go like out of town and whatnot i wouldn't mind to be the person to take them and and yeah because i was driving and whatnot but now even that just went yeah. so that was just a phase i think it was the first phase i was just not enjoying the stuff that i was um the one person to do them uh, or the stuff that i was like offering to do for people i wasn't enjoying it and then but still at that point everything was being done and then there was a phase now where stuff that needed to be done like i wasn't doing them i was just postponing things and whatnot um like i remember i lost my id and i had to go do it and i did do it now it was time for me to go fetch it i took months they told me i think in september that they they have it i think in three months you get your id and whatnot and i got it i think i took over a year to go fetch my id yes and i wanted to do a passport same thing i think now it's been years <laughs> three years over three years that i had to go and fetch my passport i don't know so i think um yes that has been my experience with burnout but I didn't know that this was burnt out. I just feel like I felt like I didn't have the energy to do things that were not until recently when I, I read about um, what I'm suffering from. And that's when I saw the light. I think now I had a place where I can start to to get better. Um, One thing I remember is that when I was staying like at my house, I didn't like have a diary and whatnot and things that I needed to do because I wasn't having issues on like complete, completing my to-do list but now when I moved out and stayed on my own that's when I like started to keep a diary because I needed it I needed a diary and just to share I got this diary um that I'm just 
putting my notes on for 35 friends at um chinatown so just yeah a plug 35 friends yes okay um then when i moved out i then started to keep a diary like have notes and everything a to-do list and scratch out because now i'd forget or if i didn't like put it put it down i wouldn't do it so that's when i started the habit of keeping a diary which is very important i think as you grow up it's a grown-up thing to do i don't know okay fine the worst case scenario when someone like gets burnt out is it may lead to depression or to anger issues or to sleeping issues um to just fatigue to chronic um being chronic now like as in burnout i don't know so i think um we just need to just work on self-care and yeah just i'm just talking under the umbrella of burnout now just to just to realize that if you do not take care of ourselves, no one else will. Because no one better than us knows what's going on with us. Mm. Okay. Sorry. And I have to mention that, like, the people close to me, Shem, have been so helpful. To mention my mother. My mother has been so helpful. Like, she's, she's always there to do anything for me. Anything and everything. I don't know. But she's, she's got that. What you call this? like space to yes to do things for other people which is me and yeah so she has been very much helpful and i know that because i now moved back to my house to my home and she does basically everything <laughs> she cooks she cleans my room without even me asking by the way but i think it's one thing that i don't have to I don't have to worry about and um, also my partner he does a lot for me I remember even when I was pregnant he was making sure that I was eating healthy and yeah throughout our relationship he's been taking care of me and things to do like um, I remember at one point he went to this other place and paid my debt not because I didn't have the money to pay, but I just didn't have the energy to go and pay it. And the people have been like emailing me and whatnot. And, and I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to do it. So he, yeah, I did that. And I remember this other time I, I was lazy to go, I think, submit a CV. That's in the period now where I didn't have a job and I was looking for work. I was like so drained. I didn't feel like going and submitting, but I knew that's the kind of job I want. And a friend, um, she called me and she was like, yay, 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 go, 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 go. And then I went after that. I was like, oh, okay, I'm here. I did it. And then she was like, oh, you, go, you before you go home, pass by home office and, 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 and do this and that and whatnot. And then I did that. Like having people around, I think it actually also helps. So that is why it is very important. Like if you're suffering from anyone, let someone know. Because you'll find out that a lot of people are there to help you. But if you do not share, they won't know. Yeah, so that's what I also realized with the people around me. They're just so full of love and yeah, they're always there to help. So um, that I actually very much appreciate. Um... From this video now, I'm just going to uh, go on a journey with you guys to um, to do some of the stuff that I haven't, not stuff that I need to do, but things I just wish I'd do, like maybe to go on a picnic. You know, I think that you want to go to this other place and eat out and just because it's a nice place and everyone is talking about it, but you just don't... Um, just you don't, um, I don't know, not that you don't have the time, but basically you don't, have to, you don't make the time to go there. Um, yeah, so it's a list of things that I need or I want to do. And I'm going to take you guys with. Um, okay, and this is where I'm going to end my my talk, my session, my venting session. Um, yes, um. Just to remind you please hit the subscribe button and share um the channel to other people to also subscribe to remember the goal is to get as much subscribers as we can yes and thank you very much for watching the videos until the end um,